Today we're going to fire quickly through some iOS 7 changes and features that hopefully you find useful. We're going to go pretty fast, but don't worry, we'll try to put some links for the more complex ones in the doobly-doo. Double, Double speed, speed intro! Alright Tech Zero, start the counter. Starting with the basics, the flashlight, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, the calculator, do not disturb, and a bunch more settings are located with a quick swipe up from any screen. This is called the control center. Your mobile data usage is now split up by app. And you can choose to block any app from using mobile data. Now you can block or blacklist specific users from iMessage, phone calls, and other apps. Spotlight or search is no longer on the far left screen. Simply swipe down from any home screen. Apple's competitor to the bump, called AirDrop, allows you to transfer videos, pictures, maps, contacts, and more with people nearby or in your contact list. The Compass app now has a handy level. You can finally put newsstand in a folder. Well, that's enough reason to update right there. The Mail app now has custom mailboxes for a better organization and searching. And you can change how flagged messages look. Did you hear you can put newsstand in a folder now? Knock it off. You can turn on timestamps for text messaging. You can enable larger or more readable text sizes through a few new accessibility features. One is called bold text and the other is called large dynamic text for those apps that support it. Siri can be taught how to pronounce things correctly. Just say that's not how you pronounce that. The limit on the number of items in a folder has been changed. So now there's no need for a whole bunch of folders called Games 1, Games 2, or Utilities 16. They should all be able to fit inside a single folder now and you can swipe side to side. Apps can auto update if you want. We're leaving you from having to carve out a chunk of time to do it yourself. You can no longer search the web or Wikipedia using the Spotlight search on the phone. How is that a new feature? It's a change that people might want to know that still constitutes a tip. There are far more customizations for the notifications screen. Safari has caught up to modern browsers and now has an Omnibar. You can type a URL or a web search into the address bar. And the iPhone version is no longer limited to eight pages. Photo navigation and organization is vastly improved. And the camera has a ton of new features like filters, effects, and crops. Try this one out. Hold the volume button down for a quick succession of rapid fire photos. Well, those are some of our favorites. I hope you found them useful. I know we did. Yeah, because my newsstand is now in a folder. Thanks for watching. And be sure to leave your episode suggestions in the comments below. And if you like this video, please check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And you can even subscribe. Or not. Or not. No big deal. Please subscribe. The Compass app now has a handy level. Compass. In New York, it's a compass. Here, it's a compass. Argo. <clears throat> Got it. They, we like, uh. Siri can be taught how to say things correctly, like compass.